Millions of Hindus have started the celebration of one of their biggest religious festivals in Bangladesh, known as the Durga Puja. In August, after the fall of former Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina's government, Hindus were targeted for their support of Hasina. The country's interim government has deployed hundreds of thousands of security forces to ensure the five-day festival is held peacefully. But as Binish Javed reports from the capital Dhaka, many of the minority Hindu population still feel under threat. This is a Durga Puja, an important Hindu festival. We are in Dhaka, the capital of Bangladesh, where the vast majority of people are Muslims. There has long been tension and even violence between the 6 million Hindus and the 150 million Muslims. Tension is particularly high this year. You can feel it here, even as the people celebrate the festival. When Bangladesh is overthrew Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina this summer, some Hindus thought that they had lost their greatest protector. A number of attacks on her Hindu supporters followed, continuing a history of violence from Bangladeshi Islamists. Even worse for the mood was a flood of fake news of massacres. This high-profile security at the festival is the result of promises by the new government to protect Hindus. And it's not just men in uniform who are here at the Dhakeshwari temple to make sure Hindus can celebrate in peace. Ordinary Bangladeshis of many political persuasions and backgrounds are volunteering to help. The government uh, in the positions, the, a lot of uh, uh, different political parties they came to us. And they are in the street, okay? The uh, Bangladesh Jati Yatavadi Dal, BNP, Bangladesh Jamaat Islam, Islamic Andolan, Communist Party, then anti discrimination student organizations, and the others, uh, uh, social uh, uh, organizations, they came and they also joined uh, hands with us. Security measures can be seen in many places. This is Shankahari Bazaar in Old Dhaka. It is home to one of the city's largest Hindu communities. Leaders at this temple closed it down shortly after the fall of Sheikh Hasina's government. Looting and vandalism made it impossible to stay open at first. Students with lots of people accompanying them came here and told us to keep the temple open. They said you don't have to worry about anything. You will stay safe. They came in big groups. They came in the morning and the afternoon. They kept telling us that we are here for your safety. The temple has been open ever since. The interim government says protecting minorities is one of their main priorities. We've already started working on the compensation and judicial process for the attacks that took place on the minority community after our revolution. We're also working to ensure that they can observe their festival in a safe environment. If anyone becomes a threat to them or tries to attack them, the state will take the strictest of actions. But it will take time before everyone feels safe. The situation in Dhaka is not very vulnerable now. But there are people in the rural areas who are still feeling some lack of safety. Even in Dhaka, Pucha and a few mandaps has been cancelled as far as I know. We never felt as unsafe or as insecure before. I don't feel safe now. I felt safer before. Now I don't know. For more Hindus to feel they're really safe here, the government and civil society will have to keep up practical efforts to protect them. The damage done by past violence and current misinformation will take time and continued vigilance to repair. And DW's Benish Javad, who filed that report, joins us now from Dhaka. Benish, tell us more about the security concerns surrounding this year's festival. Hi, Terry. So I am here at a temple uh, in central Dhaka. We see um, uh, the, uh, the goddess uh, Durga here, and we see a lot of Hindu community. 
celebrating the festival here. Uh, and yes, as you have mentioned, and as we have mentioned in the report, the security concerns are really high. And because it's so crowded, we'll, we'll move and we'll also show you that there is a heavy police uh, presence at this temple also. Uh, and we can see presence of security officers. We can see presence of, of security all over uh, Hindu temples uh, in, in, in Dhaka and across Bangladesh. Um, and uh, as I have, I've been here, I've spoken to a lot of Hindu community leaders. We are slowly moving out because it's quite uh, loud inside. Um, and um, so there is uh, the Hindu community that I've spoken to. They have said that, yes, there are serious security concerns. Uh, the government is taking it, uh, taking it. Uh, is, is the government, the interim government has heard those security demands. I'll tell you that even today, the government has given this day as a public holiday on the demands of the Hindu community. Um, as we have seen in the report that all security forces in Bangladesh, uh, the government and even in the report we saw that the uh, government advisor has also said that the interim government is taking seriously uh, the security of the Hindu minorities. There were some attacks. Now, there is, when I've spoken to a lot of people here and especially from the Hindu community, they say that there is general perception that the Hindu community have um, the Hindu community has for long supported uh, uh, the former government of uh, pr former Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina, and therefore it is a big change in the reality uh, of Hindus that we see here. And it's, it, the Hindu leaders are working now with the new government, with the other political parties, uh, and they have assured them that they will uh, ensure that minorities and especially Hindus uh, remain safe in Bangladesh. So tensions remain high, it seems. Uh, it's been two months since the government collapsed under intense public pressure and an interim government took over there two months ago. How satisfied are the people of Bangladesh with this transition, Benish? Terry, I have spoken, I went to different universities, I've spoken to a lot of students, even government officials, the hotel staff where I'm staying, uh, and I see, still I see a lot of positivity, even, even from the Hindu community, I see a lot of positivity and, and, and a sense of achievement that has happened in this country. Everywhere you go on the streets, you see these colorful posters of, of, of young people, of, of these messages of hope uh, for their country. Um, and it, it, it's only two months, and yes, there are some incidents where, for example, in some areas, far-flung areas, where some Hindu idols were attacked. There have been some incidents of mob violence, uh, of also vigilante justice. Uh, so there's some criticism on the interim government, but generally people are still uh, supporting the interim government. Right. They're really hoping uh, that the government will be able to make reforms at a larger level and bring the change that the Bangladeshi people have so strongly demanded for a very long time. Benish, thank you very much. DW's Benish Javad there in Dhaka.